Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha with Ice Cream Fitness here. I just got back from Body Power and I just want to update my subscribers a little bit. I'm pretty exhausted so I'm just going to keep this as a short video. But I've got Bagpuss with me, he survived the trip. But hold on, let me give you guys a bicep shot first. Alright, I had a great time and I had a ton of subscribers come up to me. I probably have 40 or 50 people come up, get pictures with me, shake my hand. I actually didn't have any haters, but I had a wonderful time. I just want to let you guys know, if you got a photo taken with me, and I don't have you on my private Facebook because I had to change my privacy settings a little while back with the death threats, but if you will just post those pictures up on the Ice Cream Fitness Facebook page, I will make an album with all of those and I'll try to tag you guys in there and put your names in there so that I can have a whole album put together showing the different people I have pictures taken with. It would be really nice for me to have that. And also I just wanted to mention a, a few things there. First of all, I got these right here and I'm going to mispronounce your, your name. I think it's pronounced Sharif. But he came all the way from Egypt and he brought me these really cool papyrus pictures. So I've got to find a place to hang these up. I just thought that was really awesome that this guy brought me stuff all the way from Egypt. He brought me some keychains and other stuff, but I haven't unpacked those yet. And that was just really uh, shocking that someone actually brought me stuff all the way from another country as a gift, just hoping they would catch me there. That was really cool. And he caught me before I even got checked into my hotel. We were still in the train station. I mean, he just happened to have the good luck to catch me right there. So it was really nice, and I was appreciative of that. While I was watching the powerlifting championship, one of the guys competing actually stopped competing when he saw me over there in between his doing his deadlifts, and he's trying to compete for the national championship, and came over and shake my hand and talked to me for a minute between his deadlift attempts. And to me, that was really cool that he took the time out of actually competing to come over and say hello. That means something. But I had some great chats with uh, Ogus and Lovato. I actually had quite a few conversations with Lovato while I was there. And I know a lot of you guys got pictures taken with me chatting with Lovato and came over and got pictures. So those would be nice to have. But I put one up already of me holding bag posts between the two of them. And I got a really good idea of what I'm up against for competition at the BPC. Qualifying is going to be no problem. I can pretty much hit the qualifying totals right now, single ply in a squat suit doing raw bench and raw deadlift. I'm pretty much able to qualify without even going multiply in squats or wearing a suit at all for two of my other lifts. So that's not going to be a problem. I'll definitely qualify, but there's going to be some serious competition there. Alright guys, I've got to finish unpacking and get a few things sorted around here. But the Monday Q&A will be back up as usual, and I will talk to you guys next time.